This is One Great Earth. My name is Dan. I hope you are well. We have a lot to get into today. Wildfire smoke chokes parts of Canada in western United States. This is already becoming a huge problem. We've been following the Canadian wildfire smoke for a while now. We spent quite a bit of time on the conditions which, which we will go over again today. I will show you just how widespread the smoke is throughout, <clears throat> excuse me, throughout Canada and North America and even Mexico. Los Angeles. Fires burning in California, Oregon, Arizona, Washington, and other western states as well as Canada has filled the skies and regions of the western U.S. with smoke and haze, forcing some affected areas to declare air quality alerts or advisories. As of Wednesday morning, there were 79 large active wildfires across the country being managed that have burned over almost one and a half million acres, according to the National Interagency Fire Center. Evacuation orders are in effect for 15 fires in the Northwest, where fires continue to show active to extreme behavior. Communities near several fires in California, the Northern Rockies, and the Great Basin are also under evacuation orders. Idaho has advisories. This is this is the smoke. This is what we're dealing with here. It is just like last year with so much wildfire smoke being produced, but it's early, isn't it? It feels quite early. These fires don't go away easily. They become zombie fires, they might survive a winter, warming, keeping the ground warm around it. These are Massive wildfire activity happening across the West, parts of West Canada, British Columbia and Alberta especially. The amount of smoke in the air, massive, this is stretching from Alaska to the United Kingdom. This is no joke. This is very extreme and only compounds with climate change. We're looking at wildfire smoke that's traversing over the Atlantic, it's going to cause a lot of warming in Alaska due to some fires already present. Smoke chokes out everything, nothing thrives under smoke. Everything chokes. What we're seeing here is smoke that's reaching Greenland as well, or the Davis Strait.
it is very unhealthy air quality going around the Wood Buffalo National Park. Very bad air quality, just sporadically all over the place. This is a pretty big wildfire. This is. Ooh. That is just churning out smoke as it's racing around, racing southeast to paradise. It is a large scale fire. Also, we're seeing fires all across Oregon. Smoke needs to be identified. A natural disaster especially when you have tremendous amounts of smoke like we're seeing here Smoke breaks up cloud coverage, causes rain to be unzipped. There are wildfires burning all throughout the western side of North America. Washington State, Oregon. We are seeing way too much smoke that's traversing across much of the western United States and Canada. This is aerosol indexed. Plenty of wildfires are burning throughout Washington, Oregon State. Mount Hood is active. <laughs> Nearby Wood Buffalo National Park. Seeing tremendous amounts of carbon monoxide signatures. Methane.
absolutely massive amounts of particulate matter that's in the air. What we're seeing in that red area and the yellow. Very, very heavy amounts of carbon monoxide. And sulfur dioxide, surface, ozone, ozone layer, aerosol. This isn't a representative of what the wildfires are. This is representative of the pollution that's caused by the wildfires. Smoke is static will pull into other smoke, it will stick to each other. Smoke is sticky. All other smoke, you know, just half the least resistant. And follow the smoke. You have all this uh Massive wind uh, currents that are happening across North America that's causing these wildfires to Thunderstorms. Lots of lightning happening in the Great Plains. Cape Index. Tuesday is going to be a big day, I tell you. Thunderstorms across the Great Plains on Tuesday. Big deal. Prepared. So these temperatures are still fluctuating in the triple digits in the southwest in California, as well as the uh, central United States. And a lot of temperatures that are breaking records all over the place. Twelve dead in floods, landslides in Philippines. Manila. Twelve people have died from floods and landslides caused by heavy monsoon rains intensified by typhoon by a typhoon in the Philippines. The National Disaster Agency said on Wednesday. German press agency DPA quoted the Weather Bureau as saying that typhoon Gamey, locally known as Typhoon Karina, is packing maximum sustained winds of 155 kilometers per hour 
in gust of up to 190 kilometers per hour. Some of my eye. Typhoon Gamey hits China after cargo ship sinks in Taiwan. Typhoon Gamey made landfall in China on Thursday. This is the heading right to the Three Gorges Dam. This cyclone. Typhoon, even. Here's the map here. Going to be a crazy amount of rain downpour across China as this goes inland, it just makes its way through. Philippine oil tanker sinks, raising fears of major oil spill in Manila Bay. What we were talking about before, that you don't have to have production of oil to have a great oil spill. You will be carrying around a record amount of oil on a ship that goes under causes a massive amount of oil spill. A Philippine oil tanker sank in Manila Bay early Thursday after encountering huge waves, leaving a crewman dead and 16 others rescued in a late night operation by the Coast Guard. Force was also assessing whether the vessel was leaking oil and what could be a major spill that could reach the bustling capital. Tanker Terra Nova left Bataan province en route to the central province of Alio, about 1.4 million liters or 370,000 gallons of industrial fuel oil stored in watertight tanks when it got buffeted by huge waves and took on water. Crew struggled to steer the tanker back to port, but eventually sank shortly after midnight. Coast Guard spokesperson Rear Admiral Armando Valillo said, citing statements from surviving crew members. Sinking followed days of monsoon rains exacerbated by a passing offshore typhoon that caused landslides and flooding across the archipelago, leaving at least 22 people dead and displacing more than a half a million people. The aerial survey spotted an oil spill about 3.7 kilometers long near the rough sea waters where the, oil, where the tanker sank. 
but may have come from the fuel intended to power the tanker's engine, not the much greater amount of fuel the Terra Nova was carrying as cargo. Harm reefs, harm marine life, also flooding that happens on land, take on oil. This is fear. He did not say if the tanker had been located on the seafloor and did not specify the status of its fuel oil cargo. This is an environmental red alert. Most certainly an environmental red alert. This is another article this is from the Associated Press. Philippine oil tanker sinks in Manila Bay, raising fears of a possible major spill near the capital. This um, tanker at 370,000 gallons of oil. This is ridiculous. The amount that is being carried by ships today is just massive. The risk is there. Is it worth it? This is 1.4 million liters or 370,000 gallons of industrial fuel oil star stored in watertight tanks. In this photo, in this photo. Provided by the Philippine Coast Guard. Philippine flagged motor tanker Terra Nova sinks in Manila Bay, Philippines, Thursday, July 25th, 2024. The oil tanker sank in Manila Bay early Thursday after encountering huge waves, and the Coast Guard is now accessing the vessel for a leak that could cause a major spill that could reach the capital, Manila, the Philippines Coast Guard said.
He did not say 65 meter or 213 foot tanker has been located on the seafloor and did not specify the status of its fuel oil cargo. Monsoon is gripping various parts of India's very smart. Monsoon This is Amy, tropical storm of a typhoon at sink. Industrial liner, as well as the Philippines, oil tanker was sunk. 5.0 earthquake in Iran. Bring. This is going to cause massive amounts of flooding throughout much of already flooded China. Crete's Misara struggles with water shortage amid extreme weather. There is a dam here. And are all many dam, the main water source for the area, has seen as high levels drop drastically due to illegal water pumping, low rainfall, and high temperatures. This is a Greek island of Crete, Asara, a state of emergency has been declared due to the lifeline of the area for water and irrigation as seeing that alarmingly low levels. heat is relentless and we don't know if we'll have a winter. The situation with irrigation is critical and soon the water supply will be affected too. Municipality of Bastos taking emergency measures, including crop irrigation restrictions, but farmers say restrictions are not enough. 100 cubic meters per acre is nothing. We're just fooling ourselves that we have water, said an olive grower. That's nothing.
This is from Newsweek. Tremendous NASA video shows carbon dioxide spewing from U.S. into Earth's atmosphere. A brand new NASA video reveals the fascinating patterns of carbon dioxide moving around our atmosphere. The visualization shows carbon dioxide CO2 pouring out from major cities in the U.S. before being blown into swirling eddies by atmospheric currents. The video, which shows the CO2 pattern between January and March 2020, was created using a model named the Goddard Earth Observing System, GEOS, which uses supercomputers to simulate the atmosphere based on data from satellite instruments, including the DARA satellite MODIS and the SUMI MPP satellites, various as well as other as well as ground observations. Human activities such as burning fossil fuels, deforestation, and industrial processes have significantly increased the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Since the Industrial Revolution, atmospheric CO2 levels have risen from about 280 parts per million to over 400 parts per million. The U.S. alone released 6,343 million metric tons of carbon dioxide in 2022 according to a report by the United States Environmental Protection Agency. CO2 can be seen rising from major centers of fossil fuel burning, such as cities and power stations across China, the United States, and South Asia. Africa in South America, CO2 is mainly seen emanating from fires, mainly from deforestation and controlled burns. The plumes of CO2 appear to be pulsed with the passing of the days, increasing during the daylight hours and calming at night. Directly related to human activity, the burning of fossil fuels. That's real wild, it's really wild. Boom structures. You can see how much it interacts with the weather system, gets carried away, carried around.
Video shows widespread destruction caused by wildfire and Jasper. Blocks of buildings have been leveled by fire. A wildfire that roared into the community of Jasper. A wildfire that roared into the community of Jasper, Alberta late Wednesday has left vast stretches of the town site incinerated. Videos shared to social media on Thursday show blocks of, on blocks of buildings have been leveled by fire. Video taken from inside a truck shows a view of the community forever changed. Fifteen meters per minute. Fire crews were witnessing three to hundred to four hundred foot flames and fully involved continuous crown fire and a fire spread of approximately fifteen meters per minute. Okay, Incinerated. I hope everybody who got out okay. This looks right, I'm on my way. This is yeah, terrible. Uh, This is a wildfire that happened in Alberta, Canada, in Jasper. Absolute devastation. Absolute devastation. This is a tragedy unfolding in Ethiopia. This is a story that we covered recently. It's a death toll from Ethiopia landslides could reach 500, United Nations agency says. Mudslide in Gofa zone on Monday traps people rescuing victims from a slide the previous day. So what was happening, that there was a mudslide that trapped a lot of people and the first responders and rescuers that were working to look for people under the mudslide were hit with yet again another mudslide. Early numbers would put this over 200, but now they have shovels, excuse me, sticks in their bare hands and they're looking for people trapped under several feet of mud. 
So you had people that were helping, looking for victims that became victims themselves. This is absolutely terrible. Sunday and Monday, it risen to 257 death toll and could reach 500. This is a massive tragedy. Heavy rains in the mountainous Gulf of Zone caused a landslide on a Sunday night, followed by a second on Monday morning that trapped people who were rescuing victims of the first. I thank you for watching me so far. If you haven't already, please click that follow button on Twitch. If you're watching this on replay on YouTube, very much appreciate if you went over Twitch where I'm streaming primarily uh, live to, and then I upload the video on YouTube. You could go to twitch.com slash one great earth. Please click the follow button. Help me out. It would motivate me greatly to continue putting out climate related videos related to climate related media. YouTube has made it extremely difficult to do this. There were always landmines somewhere. Never really would see them until until the would like uh, rate a uh, stream of mine 18 plus 18 year old or plus you had to log in and everything it's it's having individual videos and shorts just it's a whole engine of failure that happened I don't swear I, but YouTube hit me for shocking content I don't know if they I'm not trying to Doom scroll and doom say, doom speak or whatever. I go over the facts, I go over the uh, current news, try to keep people informed, more importantly. Because it takes a lot to understand climate change. It's a lot. Because so much can happen in so little amount of time that we need services, sources like this, that, like what I'm doing, curating stories, curating climate-related media. This is absolutely tragic. Over 500 people thought to be dead. Missing. This is the biggest mudslide death, mudslide related death toll in Ethiopian history. It's massive. Absolutely heart wrenching. A lot of people that are trapped, that are looking for their loved ones. Truly really tragic. More than 15,000 people have been affected. At least 150 people missing after boat capsizes off coast.
capsizes off coast of Mauritania. Boat full of people hoping to get to Europe overturns, and at least 15 known to have died, United Nations Migration Agency says. At least 15 people have died, and more than 150 are missing after a boat full of people hoping to make it to Europe capsized off the coast of Mauritania, according to the International Organization for Migration, IOM. About 300 people have boarded the long wooden fishing vessel in the Gambia, roughly 850 miles to the south, spending seven days at sea before the boat overturned on Monday, the agency said in a statement. We are deeply saddened by the death of 15 migrants and the estimated disappearance at sea of 195 plus people after a boat capsized and no uh, no chop. It is the latest in a series of accidents off the coast of West Africa as people increasingly resort to the deadly route, rippling with strong currents and limited in Coast Guard resources. that 15 people were confirmed dead on arrival. These are uh, people hoping to make it to a better life. This is tragedy. As arrivals increase, so do deaths along the route. More than 5,000 people, the majority of them on the Atlantic route, died while trying to reach Spain by sea in the first five months of this year. That is equivalent of 33 deaths each day. The highest number since they kept monitoring in 2007. Man arrested in connection with California's largest fire of the year. Authorities say he pushed a burning car into a gully near where the blaze started outside of Chico. The fire is now more than 71,000 acres. Cal Fire arson investigators arrested a 42-year-old man early Thursday in connection with a massive blaze in Northern California that has consumed at least 71,489 acres. Park fire started Wednesday and blew up overnight, prompting evacuation orders in several parts of Butte and Tama counties. Blaze has quickly grown to become the largest wildfire in California this year, according to Cal Fire. It was only 3% contained as of Thursday morning. Temperatures in the area were expected to reach 104 degrees in the afternoon. Very active. What's this here?
looking at wildfires, looking for wildfires. Flames right here. You can see here. Aircraft right here, and done flame retardant. Massive. There's so many wildfires throughout California. This is ridiculous. Producing so much smoke. We're in trouble. This is insane. We're seeing massive wildfires. Huge wildfires throughout California. This fire is growing massively.
smoke in the sky. It's terrible. Wildfire here at burn. smoke is thick it's massive horrible barely see through it that's my laguna Awful. It's just massive happening in huge quantities of smoke, fire. much smoke is so thick
This is the Federal Aviation Administration. Uh, cameras. Huge amounts of smoke being produced into the, uh, the air. Fires that are burning out of control throughout the West Coast. The hazy look. All right, I thank you for your time. Appreciate your viewership. If you haven't already, please click follow on Twitch or subscribe on YouTube. Primarily, I'm going to be going live on Twitch, and then I upload this onto YouTube until I get into Restream. 
be able to stream to multiple platforms at a time, but in due time. All right. Thank you very much. Please take care.